This training video covers the basic employee use of Procast Timekeeping on a mobile device. Other training videos are provided that cover the standard login sign out process on a mobile device, the employee first time login process, making the Procast login screen a bookmarked home screen icon on your Apple device or Android device, and using Procast Timekeeping on a desktop. However, for transparency's sake, I'll be using a mobile device emulator on a desktop browser to produce the visual content of this video. Before we get started, it's important to clarify that Procast Timekeeping, when accessed on a phone or tablet, utilizes a mobile-optimized version of the Procast site, designed for a better mobile experience. Your device is recognized automatically when you navigate to the login screen. Once inside, you'll have the ability to toggle between the mobile version of the page and the desktop version of the page. There is nothing to download from an app store. Since Procast Timekeeping is not a native app, you'll always have access to the most up-to-date version of our software and won't have to worry about routinely updating an app or the operating system on your mobile device. Your system admin has predefined the timesheet cycle or period that you see, charge codes you have access to, the supervisor you're assigned to for full timesheet approval, and also possible project level approvers who will approve time only on specific codes. Upon login, you'll land on the current day, highlighted in yellow, of the current timesheet cycle, noted at the top. Payroll period ending date May 15th, 2021, in this example. You can swipe right or left on the dated days of the week to see or select days in the current cycle. To jump to another open timesheet cycle, tap the calendar in the top right corner of the screen. Select the cycle from the drop-down list and tap OK, or tap the X or Cancel to go back. Timesheet cycles remain open until you submit that cycle's timesheet for approval. In the middle of the screen, you see the default charge codes you can charge time to. Please note, to change your default codes, you must switch to the desktop version of Procast Timekeeping or log in on a desktop computer. Tap the drop arrow next to the code to see the code's details. Procast Timekeeping uses charge codes that correspond with data in the Procast accounting system. Longer charge codes typically link your time to the project, task, CLIN, or contract that you're working on. Your labor category is part of the code. Shorter charge codes are generally used for other labor types, like overhead or GNA, or employee benefit types, like holiday time and PTO. Your available list of charge codes can be seen when you tap the plus button at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Codes are sorted alphabetically by description. Tap a code description to add it to the timesheet and see the hours entry screen. Some codes may have starting and ending dates, as well as budgeted hours, generally tied to a budget in the accounting system. Your system admin controls whether your codes have these criteria and if they're just informational or if there's a hard wall you'll run into when the hours are exhausted or you've reached the ending date of the code. Enter the hours and tap Save to return to the timesheet, or tap the X at the top of the screen to cancel. Just above the codes, you have options to sort displayed charge codes either by code, in ascending project code order, or by description, in alphabetical order. Sorted by code is the system default. To the right is the total hours count recorded on that day as entered against the charge codes below. The filter box allows you to type in specific words or phrases and filter what you see on the screen. This function is helpful in searching for specific codes or descriptions from your available list of charge codes or if you have a lot of default codes and you're looking for a certain one. To filter, tap the box, type in the filtering code, word, or phrase, and then tap the filter to the right. To clear the filter, delete what you had typed and then tap the filter button again. Everything you enter on your timesheet is recorded in an audit trail, viewable by you, your supervisor, and your system admin. To view the audit trail, you'll need to toggle to the desktop version of Procast Timekeeping or log in on a desktop computer. For quick time entry on a code, tap the hours box to the right of the code description and enter the hours you wish to record. To enter hours with comments or to see the charge code's remaining hours balance or authorized starting and end dates, tap the code description. External comments may be included as supporting documentation to the hours you record on an invoice that your company sends to a client. 
Internal comments are generally used for communicating something to your supervisor or project approver. Enter the hours, tap the appropriate comment type, add the comment, then tap Save, or tap the X at the top of the screen to go back. To add or adjust corresponding comments, or to delete or adjust hours, tap the hours. For comments, tap the appropriate comment type, add or adjust the comment, and then tap Save. To delete hours, tap the Delete button. If you need to remove hours from your timesheet, please use the Delete function. Do not zero out the hours in the Hours box, as this will mess up the corresponding transaction in the accounting system. To adjust the hours, make the change and then tap Save. All additions and adjustments will require a reason for the change, for audit trail purposes. You'll be asked to type out a reason when you tap Save. The save can't happen without the reason. Type the reason and then tap OK. Or tap the X or Cancel button to go back. At the top left corner of the screen is a hamburger menu. This menu has options for you to enter today's time, see your timesheet summary, submit your timesheet for approval, switch to the desktop version of Procast Timekeeping, and log out. If the timesheet summary is selected, you'll see the total hours recorded for the cycle and the hours total by code or by date. Sorted by code is the system default. The arrow carrots on the left will expand the code or day to display the hours breakout by date or charge code. If sorted by date, Weekdays are shown in blue font, and weekends are shown in gray font. A different open timesheet cycle can be selected by tapping the calendar button in the top right. When the timesheet cycle has ended and you've completed your timesheet, tap Submit Timesheet to review and submit the timesheet. This screen works like the timesheet summary screen. The little paper airplane button in the bottom right corner of the screen is the Submit button. Tap Submit. A confirmation screen is then displayed. By tapping the Submit button on this screen, you are electronically signing your timesheet and attesting to its completeness and accuracy. Your supervisor will receive a notification that you've submitted your timesheet. You'll receive an email notification when your supervisor and or project approvers approve or disapprove of your timesheet. If you need to retrieve and fix a submitted timesheet, you'll need to select Switch to Desktop. You can make changes to a timesheet so long as the timesheet is not locked, even if your supervisor has already completed their approval. A lock is applied when your system administrator sends the timesheet to the accounting system, at which point the timesheet becomes locked and is only available to you in read-only format. In the desktop version of Procast Timekeeping, the timesheets menu has options for you to create, view, retrieve, and edit your timesheets, as well as run reports for your timekeeping data like labor utilization and detail exports to Excel. There are also options to request paid time off and run PTO request reports. For more information about the desktop version of Procast Timekeeping, please refer to the Procast Timekeeping desktop training video. When you're finished, tap Logout, and then close all related browser tabs and windows. For more detailed written instruction on using the mobile version of Procast Timekeeping, please refer to the Mobile Time Instructions document, which you can download anytime in the desktop version of Procast under the Timesheets submenu of the Resources menu.